Scott Richard Wyland was an American singer and songwriter. During a career spanning three decades, Wyland was best known as the lead singer of the rock band Stone Temple Pilots. From 1989 to 2002, and 2008 to 2013, making six records with them, he was also lead vocalist of supergroup Velvet Revolver from 2003 to 2008, recording two albums and recorded one album with another supergroup Art of Anarchy. While established himself as a solo artist as well. And collaborated with several other musicians throughout his career. Wyland was known for his flamboyant and chaotic onstage persona. He was also known for constantly changing his appearance and vocal style, for his use of megaphone and concerts for vocal effect, and for his battles with substance abuse. Now widely viewed as a talented and versatile vocalist. Wyland has been ranked number fifty-seven in the top hundred heavy metal vocalist by Hit Parader. In nineteen ninety-five, Wyland was convicted of buying crack cocaine. He was sentenced to one year of probation. His drug use did not end after his sentence, but increased, and he moved into a hotel room for two months next door to Courtney Love, where she said. He shot drugs the whole time with her. Wyland revealed in 2001 he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. In a 2005 interview with Esquire, Wyland said that while performing in his first bands as a teenager, his drinking escalated, and he began using cocaine for the first time, which he referred to as a sexual experience. In December 2007, Wyland was arrested and charged with DUI, his first arrest in over four years since October 27, 2003. On February 7, 2008, Wyland checked into a rehabilitation facility and left in early March. Wyland's younger brother Michael died of cardiomyopathy in early 2007. The Velvet Revolver songs for a brother and pills, demons and etc. For the album Libertad are about Michael. Wallen said in an interview with MTV News in November 2008 that several songs on Happy and Galicious were inspired by the death of his brother and his separation from Mary Forsberg. In the same article, MTV News reported that Wallen had not donned heroin. Since December five, two thousand and two, Wyland also admitted that he went through a very short binge with coke in late two thousand and seven. In April two thousand and fifteen, online footage from a show raised questions about the health of Wyland, who appeared to be zoned out and giving a bizarre performance. A representative for Wyland asserted that lack of sleep, several drinks, and a faulty earpiece were to blame, not drugs. In June 2015, Wyland claimed that he had been off drugs for 13 years. His response was directed towards comments made by Filter's frontman Richard Patrick, who claimed Wyland was using drugs and that his fans were pushing him closer to death by sticking up for him. After Wyland's death, the tour manager for the Wild Abouts. Aaron Mahler said, "A lot of times I've seen Scott do coke so he could drink more." Shortly after his death, Jamie Wyland, Scott's third wife, acknowledged that her husband was drinking heavily before he left on his band's last tour, but that he promised her that he would get it together. She accompanied him on a tour for. A week in November, and said that Scott was just killing it on stage, every night taking it up a notch. It has also been revealed that Wyland had hepatitis C, which he may have acquired from intravenous drug use. Wyland was found dead at age 48 on his tour bus on December 3, 2015, in Bloomington, Minnesota, while on tour with the Wild Abouts. The band's scheduled gig that evening in nearby Medina, Minnesota, had been canceled several days earlier. 
they were still planning to play the next night in Rochester, Minnesota. Police searched Wallen's tour bus and confirmed there were small amounts of cocaine in the bedroom where Wallen was discovered dead. Police also found prescription drugs, including Xanax, buprenorphine, Zepracidone, Viagra, and sleeping pills on a tour bus. Additionally, two bags of cocaine were found in a bag of a green and leafy substance. Tommy Black, bassist for the Wild Abouts, was arrested by police for speeding and running red lights while driving the tour bus on suspicion of possession of cocaine, although the charges against him were later dropped. Despite the discovery of drugs, no underlying cause of death was immediately given. The medical examiner later determined Wallen's death was the result of an accidental overdose of cocaine, alcohol, and MDA. In its report, the examiner's office also noted Wallen's atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, history of asthma, and prolonged substance abuse. News of Wallen's death quickly spread throughout the internet, with many of his musical peers, including his former band members, along with fans and music critics throughout the world, sharing their condolences, tributes, and memories. A day following his death, his former bandmates and Stone Temple pilots issued a statement saying that he was gifted beyond words, but acknowledging his struggle with substance abuse, calling it part of his curse. A quiet funeral for Wallend was held at Hollywood Forever Cemetery on December 11, 2015, in Los Angeles. Members of both Stone Temple Pilots and Velvet Revolver attended. Chris Kushner, the wife of Velvet Revolver guitarist Dave Kushner, wrote on her Instagram page following the funeral, A very sad day when you bury a friend. He was a good man. Don't believe everything you read. Remember, we were all there. Wallen's body was cremated. Mary Forsberg and the two children were not in the attendance, later having a private ceremony in honor of Wyland. Like and follow us for more stories in a world of music.